Hi, Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions. It is November, November 2018. We have another estate sale coming up. It's a two-part sale. Day one is Sunday, the 25th of November, and that'll start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Doors will open at 9. A little bit earlier start because we do have about 500 and... 60 or so lots for the one day, uh, live sale and online. And then part two, which we'll show you in a little bit, is online only, and that's on the 26th, on the Monday evening. We say the Monday evening because that's when it starts to close. Bidding has already started. So you go to our website, wardsauctions.com, register for the online bidding. You're good for both the live online portion and the online only portion, which is on the Monday. Bidding has started now, and then 6 o'clock on Monday, it starts to close. Every 30 seconds or so, I think, is what happens, and it closes. So uh, right now, we're going to show you the, the, the live portion. And again, like I said, that's going to be... And the viewing is important, too. That's the best day to come, uh, Friday the 23rd from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. So make sure you come and properly look at everything. Another very important thing, Canada Post is still on strike, rotating strikes. We still ship through Canada Post. So that may sound a bit asinine, but that's the way it's going to be. So it does mean that if you're Christmas shopping, that may be a problem. I'm not saying it won't get to you. I'm not saying it will get to you. I'm just saying you're at the mercy of Canada Post, which is on rotating strikes. We're still getting mail almost every day, so I'm not sure how delayed they are. So here's the, mu the musical corner. Really nice guitar and amp. It is supposedly turned on, but somebody turned it off. There it is there, maybe. That's a bit anticlimactic. I thought it was turned on. There it is turned on. Now I don't know how to play the guitar, but I do know how to play this. Just in time for Christmas. I don't know how many songs it plays, but there's a few. Usually white bears are not that good at dancers. It's an anomaly. Let's go have a look at the rest of the sale. We just cut it there. White bears can't dance. We ready? Okay, so uh, again, 500 and some odd lots, and this is a, a bit of everything. What you're gonna see a lot of in this sale is military toys. Um, toy, display, toy, not, not so much to play with toys, but some of them are. And here, this is 116 scale tank. In its factory seal yet, yeah, there's a whack of them still in their factory seal. These things retailed for something in the neighborhood of twelve or thirteen hundred dollars, and I think it was twelve or thirteen hundred U.S. dollars. The whole collection, fifty-five thousand dollars worth or something like that, if you add it all up, is all one person's, obviously. Um, and so, and it all, through circumstances, has to go into one sale. So it's going to—it's an excellent opportunity. These are forces of valor, one sixteen scale. Get online, have a look at them. They're not cheap. So we've le we've kept factory sealed stuff up as factory sealed because, you know, talk about an opportunity to buy gifts. And there is some that was open that he had on display. So you'll, so those of you that are not already in the know of it will be able to get a really good representation of what it is, including inside this 10 foot long antique display cabinet, which is in really nice condition, is one of those 1 scale tanks in a neat wooden crate. Now the other ones are not in the neat wooden crate. Um, and I think the other ones are actually the earlier versions and the wooden crate one is the, le le the later version, if I'm not mistaken. Your catalog, I think, will give you a pretty good indication of that. But there's several different models of it. Um, Sherman Tank, Tiger One. So you really have to, you're, you really need to come and have a look at that. You really need to spend some time online looking at the sale because there's just so much of that. And it's going to be a great opportunity for you to buy because there's so much in one sale. Huge selection of Petty Point Royal Albert. Dining room suite has two lots, I believe. Cabinet is one lot. Table and chairs, eight chairs. So you're lucky not too often you get to get eight chairs. This is an interesting situation too because this is clearly the base to what is another display cabinet 
that you're going to see in a little while that they have sort of converted, taken the crown and made it the base and flipped it over and made it into a, a freestanding display cabinet. And I think probably the reason was the height. They couldn't fit it in the house. So you can leave it as two cabinets. We're selling them separately because that's what was requested. Um, or you could put it back together and make one cabinet. Bandsaw, table saw, deco furniture, there's modern furniture, nice little antique pieces, mid-century modern pieces. This is a really cool rustic, you know, fantastically rustic table. The chairs were in the apartment with it. They don't match it, but uh, that, that's what they found to go with it. Or, you know, we're probably always on the hunt for something that was just a little bit more suitable. And there's a coffee table that is, that is very similar to go along with it too. So, and again, neat, neat chair with lots of great patina. There's some great artwork in the sale. Here's a Marla Wilson up here. Here's the coffee table down here. You might not see it on camera very good, but it's lot 258. Quarter cut oak pieces. The, near the door, the, the entry door was a, dis, a, a shop made, homemade, whatever, uh, display cabinet, a smaller one. Here's a, a little bit bigger one, sits on a cabinet, two locking doors behind, glass all the way around. Great for home display or if you have a, a shop or something like that. There's the cabinet I was talking about that is the top part. That's clearly the crown at the bottom that they've used for a base. Works really well but would normally sit up here because this is the right way up. This, this section is standing the right way up, so you wouldn't just flip it over the way it is onto the cabinet over there because then this section would be up, upside down. So anyhow, that's what they've done, with that, done there. Nice quarter cut oak, small size wardrobe. Mid-century modern cadenza type piece over here. This is two pieces. Uh, so you can get it in and out of your house nicely. Flat screen TV. More tanks. I mean, can you imagine? I don't even, I don't even know. Like the garage was full. I went up to, uh, to Bonneville and picked it up myself. And you might have seen a little video we put on just for the heck of it. I don't even know what, whatever. I sort of did the, the documented the trip. Not very gloriously, but, but uh, it was kind of fun. And it was an all day event by the time you travel up there. It's three hours each way kind of a thing. Load the trailer. Uh, lots of really nice vintage and modern quality bags, scarves, um, men's and ladies scarves, so like silk scarves plus uh, dress winter scarves, so some really nice pieces there. And this is where you need to come in person and really have a good, a good look because there's so much of it. Some sterling flatware, I forget the pattern, but it is in the catalog. Lot number 60 is part of it. Lot number 492 is going to be sterling, 422, uh, no I think it's all 422. Have a good look there, I forget the pattern, but it'll be in there. Some carved uh, um, antlers and that sort of thing. Interesting music thing. I should have displayed that one for you. There's a nice bag here again. Carpets, I should have mentioned the carpets. There are some carpets behind that big batik piece there. Carved soapstones here, Ladros, Royal Daltons, quality crystal pieces, some neat lamps, a couple of, uh, these are reproduction stores, but quite nice. Victorian loo table, tilt top loo table. Don't do what I just did and almost break the little support because there's a little little thing there to keep it from falling backwards. This table, I think this is the one. This one all comes apart into two singles. So does that one over there. Um, there really is a lot to look at. And it's all happening in one day, as I mentioned. More Royal Albert. Is this Lavender Rose? Uh, no, Tranquility. Tranquility. This gramophone works quite nicely. Should have had it wound up for us before we got to going. Stacking bookcase beside us there. Really interesting dome top trunk in the front. And a wardrobe steamer trunk that we need to show you. Let's see if we crank that enough. I could have chosen a more exciting record to have on there. But anyhow, it works quite nicely. We'll leave that. Stacking bookcase, three section, does have a drawered base. Dome top trunk just has the, the greatest look to it. And take a look at this one here. Steamer, wardrobe, all the drawers are there. What's really neat though is you still have laundry bag, covers, hangers, that removable case down at the bottom there, which is absolutely fantastic. All in, in you know, doesn't smell fusty, all complete in great condition. 
There's a, yet another one. Look at all the more, more toys and airplanes, stained glass windows up there. The miscellaneous shelves are actually filled with airplanes as well. Dining room suite. And here's another cool fitted vintage suitcase. Still has the wrap to keep it all protected and all the hangers to go inside it. It's divided down at the bottom here. I would, I would literally use a, a suitcase in this configuration today. Of course, I need an extending handle and wheels on it. Curio cabinets, teak, um, more scarves and so on. This cuckoo clock, I don't believe, was ever out of the packaging until we took it and put it on the wall here. I think it's brand, brand spanking new. More models down here. More models, more sterling silver over here. We're going to take you into the back room here and show you what we got here, including jewelry and, and uh, lots of smalls, and if you can imagine, some toys. And we've got Linda from uh, Haynes Auction. Say hi, Linda. Hi. Linda and Jim are still doing some cataloging. We've got uh, probably 600 and close to 700 lots in the computer now. Mm -hmm. I suspect there'll be another 100 by the time we're done. And we're only two weeks away from the firearms auction, really. Um, just barely more than two weeks. So watch for more updates on the website for that. And uh, we're not going to let Jim and Linda out of here until they're done. So take a little bit of doing yet. But they're doing great work as, as usual. Lots of jewelry, including costume, um, silver stuff, sort of semi-costume, if you will. Beautiful antique water um, pocket watch collection. And a little video on the website about that one there. Lots of jewelry, chains, talk about gift giving ideas for Christmas, gold and diamonds and so on. Uh, and of course, in the most cases, if we do have, well, in a lot of cases we have them appraised, and if we do have them appraised, we do stand behind our appraisals. There's no, there's no shenanigans there. Virtually new watches, Michael Kors watches, might even be new. So again, talk about gift giving. And there's probably 20, 30 pocket watches there. More porcelains, more Daltons, more dolls. Uh, Royal Albert again, lots of tanks, if you can imagine. Tanks and airplanes. And I know that's not going to be everybody's bag. Some of the guys are going to, gals are going to be like, well, how come you got so many toys? But there's a lot of people that are going to say, oh my God, look at all the toys. So you got a bit of everything. Uh, Waterford Crystal. This is all Waterford, all one pattern. I don't remember the pattern offhand. Uh, lot number 13, early in the sale. 13, 12, 11, it's going to be a whole bunch in a row there. We don't, go, we don't spill into the back warehouse this time and because uh, it is just the one day but some neat pieces fireman's axe like where do you get cool stuff like that fireman's axe more toys franklin mint toys probably paid lots of money for those more crystal more china this is a great piece propeller clock listed right on the top gypsy major uh, with a serial number there the clock needs a little bit of love it's got a litho on the bottom here, or a transfer thing from the RCAF, Royal Canadian Air Force. It's a forceful clock. And so this would have been for a gypsy airplane, gypsy moth, uh, tiger moth, that sort of a thing. So vintage stuff, very cool. Uh, doesn't get any better than this. This is a hoverboard. I should have had this at the ready to try. Look at that. I, I don't dare, do I? No, this is just asking for trouble, isn't it? Now I better not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Ah. Now if I put it on the table, it's going to roll away. I actually fell off, not even being on it. Cranberry glass, squeeze box, more tanks, um, more airplanes. There's lots of stuff on the other side. There's lots of artwork. There's some, you see those illuminated things at the back wall? They're really neat. They are, you know, one person has his own idea about what to do there. So have a look at that. And lots of furniture over here. So anyhow, um, 25th is the Sunday, 26th is the Monday. You got all the details. It'll be below on the, on the description. Come to the viewing, come to the viewing, come to the viewing. Friday the 23rd, four o'clock till eight o'clock, wardsauctions.com. Thanks you very much for watching. See you at the sale. Hi, we're over on the on the online only portion of the of the sale. This will be ending starting on the on the Monday, the twenty sixth, starting at six o'clock in the evening, and something closes every thirty seconds, roughly. They got about four hundred and fifty or so lots in here. So a continuation from next door, the live and online section. You have a lot of military toys still, and the first section that you're going to see is the stuff as we've already discussed earlier. The, there's a, just a whack of stuff that has never been out of the packaging and uh, for whatever reason the, the gentleman had 
huge uh, repetition of, of items. But obviously then there was all the stuff that was on display. Uh, airplanes and tanks and, um, well, I think that's about it. I don't think there's much in the way of, of other vehicles. Mostly he was into tanks and airplanes. So you are going to see quite a bit over on this side, on the online portion that is opened and out of the packaging. No shipping on anything that's out of the packaging. It's just too delicate. And just again, reminder, we've mentioned it earlier, Canada Post is still on strike and we're still shipping with Canada Post. So it just means you're gonna get delayed. So if you're Christmas shopping, um, be cautious of that or be, be aware of that. Uh, this retail counter, oak and, and uh, glass, it comes into pieces so you can move it into your situation. A lot of retail mill work, of course, is built in site and all is one piece, hard to work with. This is multiple pieces, so it's easier to work with. Executive desk was over in the corner there. There's a bunch of artwork in here, some limited edition stuff. Um, also, there is... Um, quite a bit of show home stuff. So the nice big artsy, fills the walls, fun colors, pieces, and you're gonna see those all around the all around the room as well. There's firearms related accessories, holsters, gun cases, stocks, barrels, uh, synthetic stocks, some military surplus items, uh, display cases. So there's a bit of everything. Full figured mail, um, mantastically shaped mannequins. So if you're in the need for that, this is a water, uh, milit brand spanking new, military surplus, and it's a water, uh, not a thermos, because it has no cooling facility, but a water dispenser. There's the lid for it on here, so it, it holds 36 gallons, and then there's spigots all the way around it, so that's kind of neat. If you've got a big crew that likes to go camping, and uh, you could hang this up and, and uh, have a whole bunch more packaged models, just like we had next door have next door. There's still a lot of them over here and they're display models. They're not kits that you build. I mean, they're, they're sort of broken down into subsections to put into the packaging, but, but they're, 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 they're display. These are, these are grown up items. These are for, you know, it says for ages five plus, and yes, you can play with them, but I think most of these things get bought by, by grown people who, who just love to have them on display. And I'm one of them. I, I definitely will be interested in a few of the pieces here, Messerschmitts, and I'm all into the, the Second World War stuff, and uh, anything with a propeller on it, that's more my thing, rather than the jets. And fortunately, that's mostly what he had. Uh, Hellcats, and Mustangs, and Spitfires, and Zeros, and Messerschmitts, and just piles and piles, and different manufacturers. So again, just like next door, different manufacturers, so you get different configurations and so on. Uh, some of them are just really, really beautifully detailed. So again, hundreds and hundreds of pieces. Uh, as mentioned already, it was a, uh, a situation where lawyers and so on were involved, and so it all had to go into one sale, which really, I think, is just gonna benefit you, the buyers, because, you know, let's face it, there's, there's possibly a little bit too much in one sale, um, and all that's gonna do is, is, is help you to buy. So lots of tanks over here. Some of them are individual, depending on sort of what their value was. Some of them are in pairs. Uh, not too much in the way of threes. I think there's one or two lots of threes over there. Uh, so that's about it. There's some flat display cases here. We don't have the keys for these, but these are easy to get keyed, relocked. And we have these boots. These are really neat. These actually retail for a couple hundred bucks a pair. They're all brand spanking new. Uh, there's a few different sizes. And these are for extreme cold. There's no liner in it to get wet. So it, they're, they're really neat boots. So have a look at those ones there. Good for the resellers. A bunch of military surplus that is all in box lots. So, you know, that's sort of the wrap for the sale. A little bit of everything, like I said, some brand new firearm stuff, some surplus stuff. So the, the bidding for this has already started. It's already started, and uh, the easiest way is just to go to our website, wardsauctions.com, link it from there over to iCollector, and then start your bidding, the registration process. Registering f for iCollector, for the online portion, is the same for both sales. So your live and online version and the online only version is one registration for the sale. And then in-house is another registration. So those of you that have been before are used to it. So, so again, come, you can see this live in person on the regular viewing Friday the 23rd, uh, that's November 2018, just so that we're uh, clear. Um, and that's from four o'clock till eight o'clock. So come and have a proper look for yourself and uh, if you have any questions, give us a call, 780-451-4549. And otherwise, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you at the sale.